what are your thoughts? I mean, when you hear and see information like this, stuff like this this evening, what, what's kind of going through your head? Um, well, of course, the first reaction is pure terror. Could this be her? And then have to get over that and spring into action. Need to come out, find out what's going on, see what's being done. Um, because since the inception of this case, there's been so many different stories, so many, you know, hiding of information. So definitely there's a need to be here, to see what's going on, to hear firsthand what's being said. Um, we do know that there are remains that are that, that were extricated from that area, which is not too far from where those terrible murals were found, not too far from where Bill Smith lives. I, it's, 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 it's not coincidental. Um, I, I don't think it's a coincidence. So we are definitely taking this very serious. One thing I do know in my gut, and as a mother who has nurtured my tree since she was born, is she is not running around in Las Vegas. That I do know. I do not believe she's out there. Um, I want more than anybody else for my trees to be alive, but I'm not naive enough to believe that she may not come out of this alive. But I'm not going to stop until I find her one way or the other. Does this, in a weird way, give you hope at all when you hear something like this? That there would be closure or no? It would give me closure. I would never hope for my daughter to be dead. I didn't hope for my daughter to come up missing. I didn't hope for my daughter to be discarded like trash. But it will give me answers if this turns out to be my truth. And then from there, then I can push forward to get answers. Because one thing we do know is that it didn't have to happen if that turns out to be my trees. My tree should not be missing at all. And lastly, you saw the other woman that was here this evening. My heart goes out to her. Um, I understand she hasn't had a whole lot of assistance in trying to search for her loved one. I believe it's her husband. Um, I believe from the first report that was filed, um, there was no search done for her husband. So it's just disheartening that uh, our law enforcement agencies who are also here to protect us um, do not put forth effort to try to find us when we are in harm's way. That they don't put forth the effort and just disregard a human life as not worth taking the time to get out and try to find them and bring them back to their loved ones. I think, it's, I think it's a tragedy. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you wanted to add about this recent development? Uh, I know you've been through so much. Right now, I'm, I'm still a little in shock. Um, I'm, I'm still a little numb, still processing, and I have a very um, frightened young daughter that I need to get home to right now. So right now, I just need to go. Absolutely. But I, I, I thank you for taking the time to, to listen to what I may feel and to report on it and to keep my truth story alive because we have to keep searching for her until we find her. We cannot stop. You are absolutely the strongest person I've ever met. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank okay. You. thank all of you for being here um, at such notice. Um, please bear with me. As we all are aware, there were remains found in the Malibu Canyon area, not too far from the first sighting of Maitris in the back of Bill Smith's home, and not too far from those terrible murals depicting African-American women in terrible sexual explicit positions. My tree, there were remains found. It is most unfortunate that there have been many leaks today 
from law enforcement about those remains, and that is my sole purpose for being here today. It is most unfortunate that today I've had to learn through the media that there are preliminary findings that those bones in Malibu are of a female. I must say that I have to give thanks to the media and the press because we have gotten this far because of your tenacity and your involvement in keeping my Teresa's story alive. And I'd like to give a special thanks to those reporters who contact me personally for firsthand information to make sure that accurate information about my trees is, is pro provided to the um, public. But at this time, I want to make a personal appeal to law enforcement and to the coroner's office to please not leak information before you have contacted me, the mother of Maitrice Richardson, to give me preliminary information about these bones. This is my baby that I've raised. This is my life. This, she's my future that I've bred. Give me the courtesy to make me aware so that I don't have to learn about the possibilities of these bones through reporters. That is devastating to me. That is devastating to my Teresa's family. We deserve better than that. We deserve the compassion of being spoke to firsthand. Please bear with me. Again, we have learned that there have been remains found, and I have learned firsthand today from the coroner's office that there were clothing found near those remains. Um, it is unfortunate that they will not let me view those articles of clothing. I do appeal to the coroner's office if they would please allow me to see those clothing articles because I know what my daughter was wearing. We do know, and I do know firsthand, that they indicated that Levi's were found. I do know that my daughter was wearing jeans that night. I am going to be brief because I'm, 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 I'm overwhelmed, as you can imagine. But again, I, I just want to ask law enforcement to please, please, Give us the courtesy of notifying me to let me know firsthand before dispensing information. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Oh, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll answer any questions if anyone has any. 